How's it going everybody? Star Wars Talks here. So following the new Star Wars Outlaws trailer, there was a ton of backlash and controversy, not only about the trailer itself and how the gameplay kind of looks a little boring, but also some of these additions coming out with the Star Wars uh, Ubisoft game itself. So just taking a look here, we have a Standard Edition, a Gold Edition, Ultimate Edition, and a Ubisoft Plus Ultimate Edition, day one with Ubisoft Plus, which we'll get into that. But starting with the Standard Edition, obviously it's about $70. Uh, doesn't include tax, but you get the base game and a pre-order bonus, which looks like you get a cosmetic pack for your speeder and a cosmetic for the Trailblazer spaceship. You know, pretty pretty basic stuff for the standard edition. But getting into the gold edition, it's $110, not including tax. You get the same two things, you get early access, and you also get a season pass. And if you click on this, it says the Star Wars Outlaw season pass includes two DLCs that will release after launch. Keep exploring the world of Star Wars Outlaws with all new stories, quests, and areas to discover. Very cool. But then it gets down here and it says you get the Jabba's Gambit exclusive mission available at launch. And that's a big issue. And the reason why it's such a big issue is because why do we have to pay $110 to be able to unlock one of the missions that we would all want to play? We're very unfamiliar with this, with this uh, character that we're playing as in this Star Wars realm. And so the fact that we you know, get to play a Jabba mission, it's more familiar for a lot of us Star Wars fans. And a lot of us are obviously going to want to play it. But the expectation was that we'd get to play it when the game launched regardless. And I think it's just a little pathetic on Ubisoft's part to kind of just lock this behind, you know, closed doors. I think it's, it's pretty bad. Next, we're looking at the Ultimate Edition, and it's just the same type of ordeal here. I mean, you get four of the same things. You get the Rogue Infiltrator bundle, uh, the Shark bundle, and you get a digital art book. Um, I don't think a lot of people will be choosing this option. But lastly, we have the day one with Ubisoft Plus Ultimate Edition. You know, I think the reason why they're pricing these two things so aggressively is because Ubisoft wants you to click this last option. This is probably the best option in terms of payroll for them. Um, $17.99 a month. Obviously, that's really not that bad. You get 100 other PC games. The thing I, I have an issue with here is like, these are so aggressively priced so you click this button. And honestly, it kind of makes the most sense for $17.99, you're telling me I can play this game, get all of these things included with it, beat the game in probably a month or two, spend you know half the price of even just the base game, and I can still play through the whole game and get through it all and get the season pass. So obviously what they're gonna do, they're gonna be smart about it. The season pass is gonna have things coming out for months. Let's just be honest. So that way you have to keep the subscription for a very, very long time. That's what they want to do. They want to lock you in there. They hope that you like their other games too. So they're going to lock you in with those games. So then when you get to that conclusion, you're back to the pre-order for the ultimate edition or the gold edition. And in terms of pricing, I just think it's so aggressive and it's egregious, especially for Star Wars who, you know, Disney Star Wars has not been doing the best with, you know, their games and things. You know, things are being canceled left and right and, and projects are being canceled left and right, movies and stuff. And so it's like, we finally get this game and people were excited for the game, you know, like a GTA, but like a scoundrel. And this happens. So I think it's pretty horrible on Ubisoft's part. And I, for one, will not be doing, I probably won't even buy the game early. Um, I'll probably wait. Ubisoft usually has pretty aggressive sales as well, uh, just a couple months after the game does come out so i'm expecting like a 40 percent off after like two months of the game being out but we shall see i'm more just outraged for star wars fans i feel like we keep getting kicked under um when, while we're already down and this just seems like another one of those instances so let me know what you guys think are you gonna get the game are you not gonna get the game let me know